Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about filing your business tax return online in San Francisco. This video is designed to assist residential landlords. If your situation is different, we have developed videos for other types of filings that can be accessed at the link at the top right. Residential real estate is defined in Business and Tax Regulations Code Section 954.1 as real property where the primary use of or right to use the property is for the purpose of dwelling, sleeping, or lodging other than as part of the business activity of accommodations. You must file a separate return for each individual building, as well as a separate return for all of your other business activities, if any. If you were engaged in business in San Francisco as a lesser of residential real estate, each individual building in which you lease residential real estate units is treated as a separate person and should be registered with a separate business account number. Lessers of residential real estate in San Francisco must file an annual return if they lease four or more units in any individual building, unless they are otherwise exempt, such as a nonprofit organization. In this example, I will be filing using the following facts. A lesser of residential real estate with taxable business personal property in San Francisco, zero employees, and zero payroll expense. It leases five units in the building, collecting $60,000 in gross receipts. The units are rent controlled. The business paid $20 in installment payments for gross receipts tax in 2016. Before you file, it is important to have all of your information in order. The letter you receive from our office has your business account number and online PIN. The letter will also summarize the installment payments our office has recorded for the tax year. You will need to know the last four digits of your tax identification number to log into the form. For sole proprietors, your tax identification number is usually your social security number. For some landlords, their business account number is recorded as their tax identification number in our system. Navigate to www.sftreasurer.org 2016GRPY to access the annual return. On this landing page, you will see buttons to access instructions and the filing, as well as frequently asked questions. Select Enter Filing to access the return. The landing page has some information to prepare you for the filing and reminds you of due dates. Input your seven digit business account number, last four digits of your tax identification number, and your eight character online PIN. Select Enter Filing. Once you have entered, you will see some general information on the form. Starting on the top left, you will see your business account number, business or ownership name, and a code for our internal use. In the top right, you will see links for instructions, technical assistance, and a button to exit the filing. Across the top of the screen, you will see chevrons that show the five major sections of the form. You must progress through the form sequentially. The chevron in blue is the current section, the chevron in gray is a section you have not accessed yet, and a chevron in green indicates a completed section. You may go back to a completed section by selecting that chevron. On the bottom of the screen are buttons to navigate forward and back in the return, as well as an estimated progress image. On the business identification page, there are two survey questions to answer. Answer yes if you have business personal property and input your average number of weekly employees. In this case, we will answer yes and zero employees. Select Save and Continue. On page A2, Filing Questionnaire, select Yes on the question about if I am a lesser of residential real estate and select Save and Continue. On page C1, Payroll Expense Tax Filing, input the number of employees as of the last day of the tax year and your San Francisco payroll expense. In this case, I will enter zero for both fields and select Save and Continue. On page C2, Payroll Expense Tax Filing Summary, the return displays the payroll expense entered on the previous screen and calculates the tax before credits. In this case, the small business tax exemption is applicable since I entered zero payroll expense. Select Save and Continue. 
On page D, you will enter your San Francisco gross receipts for this building. On line 1, Real Estate, Rental, and Leasing Services is selected. On line 2, I will enter 5 for the number of units leased out. On line 3, I will enter $60,000 for my gross receipts. On line 4, I will select Yes, the units are rent controlled. This selection will calculate 50% of my gross receipts on line 5 and deduct that amount from line 3 to arrive at my net San Francisco gross receipts on line 6. The system will automatically calculate the gross receipts tax and apply the 50% adjustment for tax year 2016. In this case, I owe $42.75. If you leased out fewer than four units in the building for which you are filing, you will qualify for the small business exemption and will owe no gross receipts tax. On line two, I will enter five for the number of units leased out. Select Save and Continue. On I, Obligation Summary, you will see both the payroll expense tax and gross receipts tax calculated on the previous pages. The fields for quarterly installments are blank. You must enter an amount into each of the three fields in both taxes for six entries in total. If you did not make an installment payment on a tax in a certain period, you must enter an amount to proceed. Entering zero is acceptable. If the quarterly installment amount I entered exceeds the total obligation due, the return will display a box regarding overpayments. You may select to apply your overpayment to a future obligation or select refund to have a check mailed to you. In this case, I will enter $20 Next. in zero in all other quarterly installment fields. I also have the opportunity to designate up to 3% of my tax liability to the Community Challenge Grant Program. This designation does not increase my tax liability. Select Save and Continue. Complete the Taxpayer Statement page and select Submit. The email address you input on this screen will receive a copy of the return. You can also review your filing data on this screen. Be sure to allow pop-ups. Once the confirmation screen appears, the return is submitted. Select Continue. On this page, you can access payment options, download a copy of your return, or select an email address to send a copy of the return. To pay, select Payment Options to access the Payment Portal. Select Gross Receipts 2016-04 from the list in the Payment Portal and select your payment method at the bottom of the screen. You may have other obligations due that you can also pay at this time. If you are paying by e-check, select that option and input your bank account information. If you are paying by debit card or credit card, select that option and input your account information. Convenience fees will apply. If you are paying by check, select Print Payment Stub and make sure to allow pop-ups. You may get a notification window depending on your web browser's settings. Print out the payment stub and mail it with your check to San Francisco Tax Collector, P.O. Box 7425, San Francisco, California, 94120-7425. The 2016 return is now filed and paid. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about filing your return. For more videos on different tax scenarios, select from the information box at the top right.